and Air Force Academy in Libya's Misrata. Previously, this was home to aviation students learning the ropes. Today, it's a base in the battle against the Islamic State group. And for some 18 months, these fighter jets lined up on the tarmac have been carrying out airstrikes. Airstrikes have opened the path for our troops on the ground. They've also stopped the advance of Islamic State militants and limited their mobility. Our air campaign has been targeting troops, ammunition depots, warehouses, tanks and vehicles. The air operation was launched before the jihadists took complete control of Sirt, some 250 kilometers east of Misrata, in June last year. The militant group quickly turned the coastal city into its North African stronghold, extending its tentacles along Libya's coastline. A year on, forces loyal to the UN-backed government have pushed the militants out with the help of air raids. When I'm up in the air about to hit an Islamic State target, I feel like I'm defending my country and the world. Some 600 missions have been logged since the first jet took off in 2015, and the assault has come at a high cost. 400 government forces have been killed in the combat against the extremist fighters.